All right, this is step two. Um, now you could go ahead and tape off all your flange surfaces uh, if you feel the need. Uh, I just taped off the top here because I didn't really want this stuff just sitting inside the intake, but it's it's not necessary. Um, all these surfaces are going to be gasketed, um, so any etching that might occur, which would be very, very minimal, at, at, if at all, on the uh, machine surfaces. Um, you know, it, it'll be, it'd be perfectly fine to use this without tape, which is what I'm going to do. Anyway, um, what I'm going to be using is this metal-ready stuff. Uh, it's made by POR15. Basically, it's phosph phosphoric acid and um, zinc phosphate, and what it does is it reacts with rust um, and bare metal, and it leaves this, this coating of zinc phosphate on it. It kind of etches its way into the metal. And um, that allows, uh, it promotes adhesion, uh, especially with the POR. Uh, anybody, if you if you look online, you'll, you'll see a lot of negative reviews of people who have used POR 15 on bare metal and had problems with it peeling and lifting and whatnot. And that's usually because they didn't treat the uh, bare steel with with something like this, some kind of etching, uh, zinc phosphate uh, type solution. So what we're going to do here, uh, according to the, as per the instructions here, is we're going to spread this thing down and let it sit for 10 to 20 minutes, and then we're going to rinse it off with clean water, let it air dry till it's completely dry, and then uh, use the paint. And one of the things to note is uh, you, you want it to be air dry, but you don't want to let it sit out for like more than a day, let's say, because what will happen is the zinc phosphate will turn chalky. It'll, it'll turn this like chalky residue that'll leave behind. And when it does that, um, you know, it, it just becomes a real mess and, and the paint won't stick very well. So what you want to do is you want to have it dry, but you don't want to have it, you know, a couple days dry where it's, where it's a mess. Uh, also, the POR15 is activated by moisture, so it doesn't need to be a 100%, you know, three days out in the sun dry. It just needs to be, you know, air dried and you don't want any, any water puddles or any, you know, it should be dry to the touch is what they're getting after. So we're just going to spray this down and let this stuff soak in. I'm just going to use a mist. They have, um, in the instructions it says you could use a roller or you could even dip the part if you had a big enough solution of this, but I'm just going to mist it on there and let it soak. Um, like I said, you could buy zinc phosphate. Uh, I think you can get it at the... I think most hardware stores carry it. So you don't necessarily have to use this stuff. You'll find actually most of the converters out there are actually just rebottled zinc phosphate. It's kind of funny. Or phosphoric acid, I should say, that turns into zinc phosphate when it reacts with rust. So, I'm going to spray this down and then I will hose it off with clean water and we'll let it dry. And in the last part of the video, I'll show you the painting technique I used to put the POR15 um, onto the intake. And from there, I will also show you an intake that I did um, uh, about a year ago and show you how it's holding up and what the finished product looks like. So stay tuned.